course, as president of World Athletics, I'm absolutely delighted that we will have three opportunities to see our athletes, you know, and showcase our, you know, some of the most talented sportsmen and women on the planet on, on three separate occasions, recognising, of course, that the World Championships is the, it, it is the centrepiece uh, of the year. Um, look, athletes will always make, athletes will always triage. They, they, it's the very nature of what they do, you know, and, and actually what makes this quite complicated, I think that one of the things that gets overlooked by people who possibly don't really understand the nature of our sport is that this isn't just about rearranging one season for another. The, the, the good athletes and the athletes in really good coaching structures have probably got the sequence of their own events, not for one season or even two seasons. They've probably got that in at least a four year cycle. And, you know, in, in my case, I was working with a coaching team that were working eight years out. They were, you know, already when I was heading into, you know, when I when I was watching the 1976 games on television, which I actually only missed by uh, at one place, actually, in the trials. My my coaching team then were working with with a, a sequence of, of, of programs and events and training loads that would take me through to 1984. I think they were privately hoping that they didn't have to go on beyond 1984. I probably disappointed them somewhat. So, uh, so the athletes will, you know, so the the 2020, the 21 to 22 season will add a a particular sequence because some of them won't have been even thinking three or four years ago when they were building those platforms for for that incremental development each year that they would there would be the three in one year. But having said also, having also said that, the, 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 the top athletes will figure that out and the coaches will figure that out as well. And yes, some may want to do, some may want to try uh, and do all those events. Others, others may not. So it, it will be a challenge. But as I've said, it's, it's, <laughs> it, it's not a, it's not a perfect, it, it's not a perfect solution. I, I'm actually trying to think. It, I'm, I'm going back now, some way, but um, I think I remember. I did. I, Daley Thompson actually came from the the uh, Commonwealth Games in 1978 in Edmonton, um, and in quite short order, with a with a with a gold medal, ended up actually with a silver in the European Championships a, a, a week or two later. So. Look, we, 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 there are things that will take place around the timetable that will squeeze out a little bit more time uh, for the athletes. But ultimately, the athletes will be sitting there with their coaches looking at this and going, well, can, can, can this be done or, or, or can't it be done? But I think we've given them the best opportunity, given the extraordinary circumstances, to, to be able to at least countenance that. So would you have relished the opportunity to have a triple in one year to aim for, Seb? Yeah, I, I, yes, because I love competition. I, you know, I was an athlete that, I, I, you know, training was what I did to compete. Uh, and my, you know, competition was what I woke up in the morning for. Competition was what I woke up on, on, the, on the first day of a new year. I wasn't sitting there getting excited about, you know, 120 miles a week on the road and, tons of steel in the gym I mean that's what I had to do to be the best I could be uh, in competition so the, the it's it's competitions that excite athletes and if they're not excited about athlete, about the competitions then you know they're, they're, they're probably not going to be the ones that are making those judgments anyway.